Okay, a lot of you have asked the question, uh, what is the age of accountability? I'll talk about that in different studies, and I have mentioned it, I have gone over some of the scriptures, but I don't think I have an actual video on that subject. So this is just a real quick video. Um, there's not a whole lot of scriptures to go over because it's just kind of a, in my opinion, kind of somewhat of a common sense type of a thing. We're going to go to Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 39, and uh, it says here, Moreover, your little ones, which ye said should be a prey, and your children, which in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in thither, and unto them will I give it, and they shall possess it. So here the Lord is speaking about the children of Israel and the sins of their parents that are they're constantly doubting God and questioning God and whatever else. Um, God doesn't impute those sins to the children. Why? Well, because there it says they had no, in that day, had no knowledge between good and evil. So a child can know that they're disobeying daddy or mommy, but they don't understand that they are in direct violation against God's laws. Uh, that's what's going on there. So go to the New Testament, the book of Romans. Um... We'll start out here, I guess, Romans chapter 2, verse 12 through 15. We'll read this quick. It says, For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law, and as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. For when the Gentiles which have not the law do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law are a law unto themselves. Let me just stop right there for a minute. It's talking about Jew versus Gentile here in this passage. <clears throat> and it's just basically saying that the Jews knew about the laws of God, the Ten Commandments and the other laws in the Old Testament. The Gentiles didn't. But, let's keep reading, verse 15. Which show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts the meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another. God writes his laws in every man's heart. Okay, so nobody can say, I had no idea. I didn't know it was wrong to kill someone. I didn't know it was wrong to steal, to wrong to lie, whatever. Nobody can say that. Okay, um, everybody has that law of God written in their hearts. And, you know, so anybody's going to be convicted of sin. But here's the thing. At what age do you understand that law? Go over to Romans chapter 4, um, verse 15. <clears throat> it says here, Because the law worketh wrath, for where no law is, there is no transgression. Now, what did we read back in Deuteronomy? Okay, We read that those children, they didn't understand God's law. They didn't understand that they were doing right or wrong. All right, So, when there's no law there, when they don't understand, that, that law is not made manifest yet. In other words, kind of like... Uh, it's, I believe that it's, it's there, but they don't really understand it. Um, when a child gets to that age where they can understand, hey, I'm, I've wronged God here, uh, they've reached the age of accountability. And you say, what is that? Is it 10 years old? Or... There is no age, specific age. I think 10 years old is probably a, a safe bet, if you will. You know? um, but there are children that will get to understand that they under, they've violated God's laws earlier, there are some that will take a little bit longer, uh, depending on maturity levels. So you can't set a hard, fast, boom, 10 years old or something like that. Um, that's not there. Uh, basically, the way I would define it from Scripture there, we saw it, is that when, some, when a child reaches an age where they can understand this isn't just dad and mom's laws or rules or whatever that I'm violating here, I'm actually sinning against God a holy, righteous God. When they can get to that age, they've reached the age of accountability. So uh, hopefully that will answer your question. Uh, that's something that's very debatable. Um, there's no, like I said, there's no hard, fast age given in the Bible, um, but it's just the age at which somebody knows I've wronged God here. And that His law that's written in their heart, it becomes uh, something where they... They feel that, that guilty conscience then where they lie or they steal or whatever else and they feel that, that weight of that guilt where they violated God's laws. You know, they might get away with it. Their parents might not know about it, but they feel that guilt. 
uh, you know, when you get to a point where you can kill your conscience, basically, where you can, you no longer care, you no longer feel guilty about lying to people or stealing or whatever, uh, then you've definitely reached that age of accountability. So that is how I would answer that question. Um, we'll see you in the next video.